Hey, you guys, it's your girl T, and I've been sent this crazy story. It's really sad. It's coming from ignorant ass Illinois. So, once again, Illinois is making the national news. Um, there's a 17 year old girl, she comes from Dalton, and she was five and a half months pregnant. And basically, this girl was shot in the back of her head on Christmas Day. So when this story first broke, it broke my heart. I'm like, this is just insane. Um, at the point when I first heard the story, I had a good suspicion that her baby's father was involved. I'm like, there's definitely more to the story. You know, how does a 17-year-old pregnant mother end up shot in the back of her head? Well, it came out recently that her baby's father, 16-year-old Anthony Lee and his brother, 21-year-old Dante Coakley, they'd just been arrested. Um, they're saying that it was an accident. It was basically a drug deal gone wrong. I'm going to go ahead and play you guys these two news clips, and I will come back with the rest of my Jackie, commentary. We're here at Dalton Police Headquarters. In just a few minutes, the police chief is expected to release release some details about arrests related to the fatal shooting of pregnant teen Eva Kassara. The Cook County State's Attorney has also released some information saying that a juvenile is being charged with murder and there's also an adult suspect in custody who has not been charged yet. Meanwhile, earlier today there was a candlelight vigil for Kassara to also pray for her daughter that survived the shooting. A miracle baby. This is video of the little girl brought into the world four months early after her pregnant mother, 17 year old Eva Kassara, was shot on Christmas night. I love my grandbaby. She's fighting so hard. Eva Kassara's mother says Leilani Paris looks just like her daughter and is steadily improving in intensive care. I have faith. I have hope. I believe she's gonna, she's gonna be okay. The Calumet City team was found between homes near 152nd and Greenwood in Dalton after being shot in the back of the head. An emotional candlelight vigil was held at the same spot. Eva's mother shared her memories. As beautiful as she is outside, she was inside. Just glow. She light up the room. Mourners released 17 pink balloons. One for every year of the teen's life. Oh, I love my Dear God, we are so very dependent upon you in this time of grief. And the mayor of Dalton, community activist Andrew Holmes, and family members gathered to pray and to march to the nearby street where police say the shooting happened. Stop the violence! Stop the violence! All want justice for Eva's newborn daughter. You cannot imagine what we are facing right now, not knowing any answers. And again, we're waiting for the Dalton police to release some details about an arrest related to the fatal shooting of Eva Kassara. The Cook County State's Attorney says that there is a juvenile suspect facing... Three days charge. after the Christmas night shooting death of a pregnant teenager, two suspects are arrested and they are charged with that killing. Those charges coming even as the victim's baby continues to cling to life. This morning, the suspects are due in criminal court and that's where we join Eyewitness News reporter Diane Pathew live with more this morning. Diane? And Stacy, police say that it was a robbery with drug dealers gone very wrong. This morning, two brothers are under arrest and charged with killing that pregnant teenager. Police are expecting to charge a third person today. The two suspects, 16-year-old Anthony Lee and 21-year-old Deontay Lamont Coakley, have each been charged with first-degree murder. Overnight, Dalton police announced their arrest, saying the incident may have involved an attempted robbery which spiraled out of control. And pregnant teenager Ava Kassara paid the price, getting shot in the back of the head. Police also say suspect Anthony Lee was Ava Kassara's boyfriend. It's hard to call it an accident when you're firing a gun in the direction of people. Unfortunately, she was just in the wrong place at the wrong time with the wrong company. Kassara clung to life long enough for doctors to save the unborn child named Leilani, who remains in critical condition. Her birth weight, just one and a half pounds. In crimes of this nature, obviously, a woman who's expecting is murdered. Of course, you want to look to people close to her. It usually involves the boyfriend or the significant other. So, of course, we wanted to talk to Mr. Anthony Lee right away. The charges came amid a night of prayers, vigils, and a mother's emotional plea for closure in the Christmas night shooting. Please, let's help me. Let's, I, I want to rest. I, I, want, I want peace. And Stacey Lee and Coakley are expected in court, as you mentioned, later on this morning. We should hear more about an arrest and more charges against a third person later on as well. 
reporting live outside of the Cook County Courthouse. Diane Pathew, ABC 7 Eyewitness News. Stacey? Okay, so you guys just watched the news clip, and I think the saddest part of this whole situation is the fact that this poor baby, baby just weighs one pound, five ounces. Her name is Alani, and this baby could die or live. They don't really know. I mean, this whole situation to me is just crazy. And I'm going to say a lot of things. And a lot of people might not like it, but personally, I don't care. So there's a lot of things in this situation that disturb me. A lot of folks on the internet have a lot of opinions about this whole situation. A lot of people are knocking her because she was a teen mom and she was pregnant young. Um, as you guys know, I'm a teen mom. I had my son when I was 18. It is what it is. Just because you have a child as a teen does not make you a bad parent or a bad person. Because even now, I'm probably doing better than a lot of parents who are twice my age in raising my child. I work, I have a good job, I put myself through school. So I'm doing the best I can. So not all teen moms just end up being shitty parents. So let's get that clear first and foremost. So I'm not coming at her from the angle of, oh, you know, how dare she get pregnant at 17? Because I was in her boat. But what I will say is this to all the young girls out there who come on my channel and, and stuff like that that I chop it up with all the time. You, we have to be selective on who we get pregnant by because once you have a child with somebody that is your child's father for the rest of your damn life. You know, I'm not buying this story at all. I'm not buying that she was as innocent as, you know, they're trying to make her seem and it was just at the wrong place at the wrong time. You know where I was at when I was five and a half months pregnant as a teenager? I was in the house. I really didn't go anywhere. You know, once I started showing, I just kind of stayed in the house because it wasn't really cool to be a pregnant teen when we were growing up. You know, you, you really didn't floss that. So I was just kind of in the house. The only thing I did was go to work and come home. And I was staying with um, my ex-husband's family at the time. So my thing is, I growing up in the hood. Um, I'm sure she was very aware of what her baby's father was into. You know, I'm sure she was very aware of who she got pregnant by, that he was a dope boy. Other folks have even left comments on the internet saying that, you know, her Instagram page was kind of off the hook. Her Facebook page was kind of off the hook. I haven't seen her pages, but, um... A lot of girls get caught up in a certain lifestyle. A lot of girls go after thugs and after guys who are about that life, and they don't realize the consequences of going after those type of guys. And this is one of the consequences. His lifestyle ended up killing her. You know, he's saying that it was a drug deal, robbery gone bad, but... You know, I don't understand how you take your baby's mother with you to a drug deal and a robbery. So either she was part of that and she was in cahoots with them, or either that he probably purposely shot her in the back of the head. Because my thing is, if it was an accident, if it was a drug deal gone bad, once she was shot by accident with his gun, why did he not go call the police? This is the mother of your child. She's pregnant with your child. Why not call the police in the ambulance? Granted, he would have went to jail for having a gun. He would have went to jail for firing and disarming a weapon because guns are illegal in Chicago. But at least it would look a lot better on his end had he tried to help her. Um, in other news reports, it's also saying that this young girl was robbed from everything from her coat to her shoes to her hat. So it might be even more people involved besides this third person. This definitely could have been a setup. You know, who knows what the real story is? But what I will say to a lot of these young girls, we have to start making better decisions. You know what I'm saying? It's not worth it to get pregnant at a young age because it's very hard. It's a lot of work. And unless you're going to put a lot of time and effort into raising your child properly, then you probably should wait before you have kids. Again, stop going after these thug ass, drug dealing ass, hood ass dudes. You know, this is what happens is that people get caught up in the lifestyle that their baby's father is involved with. You know, it's, it's, it's insane. This girl should have been at home with her family on Christmas Day, enjoying Christmas, preparing for the birth of her child. Instead, she's walking the streets with her baby's father and his peoples in the middle of a drug deal and a robbery. You know, you're pregnant. She shouldn't even been in that situation. I feel very, very bad for her. She's a beautiful girl. She could have had her whole life ahead of her. You know, it's easy to knock somebody and say, oh, just because you have a child young, you're not going to be about shit, but that's not the truth. You know, she could have very much had her child and been on the right path and decided to do better by her and her child. You know, who's to say? Well, we'll never know now because she's dead and this baby's literally clinging on to life. This whole situation is just tragic. Now you have two families who are affected. You have this young man's family, him and his brother going to jail. You have this young woman's family, she's passed away. There's no winners in this situation.
You know, so we have to make better decisions. And if you are pregnant, you have to, you know, be aware of your situation. It's no different than if you're not pregnant. You can't run the streets with thugs. You can't run the streets with, you know, hood dudes and think that nothing can happen to you. Nobody out here is untouchable. You know what I'm saying? People don't care no more if you're pregnant. People don't care no more if you're a teenager, if you're an old person. This world is just going crazy and people need to be very mindful of who they're around with, who they associate with. And that also goes for the parents. you got to be mindful of who your kids are with, who they're hanging with, you know, because everybody who's in your circle, everybody that you hang with does not mean you good. And sometimes other people's dirt can come back to befall you. So this whole situation is just really, really sad. I feel very bad for that family. You know, especially knowing that there's a baby out here in this world that's going to grow up without a mother and not without a father. So this whole situation is very tragic. So go ahead, leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation. All right, deuces.